Welcome to The Pitch. I'm Chris Kroll, Editor-in-Chief of Solar Builder Magazine. Generac is now selling its next generation home energy storage system, the PowerCell 2 series. Today we'll be chatting with Beto Fonts, Product Manager at Generac, to learn more about the PowerCell 2, the PowerCell 2 Max, and how they both fit in the broader Generac home energy ecosystem. So before we compare and contrast the differences in uh, PowerCell 2 versus PowerCell 2 Max, let's start with that base level of how does the PowerCell 2 compare to the original PowerCell? What are you doing differently on the spec sheet? You know, what are just different ways you've configured the system? Um, you know, what should I know if I was familiar with one now compared to two? It's really a step change. It's not just a beefing up the power, which indeed it is, but it's also a, um, a change in architecture where we're uh, adopting an AC coupled architecture, and that's very different from par Parcel One. Parcel One had was a DC coupled system. Uh, basically, it relied on our own module level power electronics. Now you have this AC coupled system that you can use with other AC PV uh, technologies out there. We believe that gives a lot more flexibility to our installers, but it also gives a resiliency in the sense that if the battery inverter failed, which we don't think it will, but let's say it did, you still you still have the ability to to produce solar. We're also very excited about this because we really are taking our ecosystem very seriously and we believe there's a lot of value that that brings. And we, we show that in a couple of ways in this product in, in very significant ways. One of them is the integration with the Ecobee thermostat. And then the other one is a much more native integration with our uh, generator, home standby generator products. So now let's walk through the installation and kind of as you're doing that kind of like point by point, point out the components that are involved in the PowerCell 2 series and why they might interest a, an installer. So our, our product is, is composed of three, three key devices. We have a battery cabinet. In this battery cabinet, it's a modular solution. So you can, you can fit up to six battery modules in our cabinets. So you can go from nine kilowatt hours up to 18 kilowatt hours in this one cabinet. We, you, you also don't have very large lifts. So I think the largest the largest lift there is about 55 pounds. Um, so you can install this almost with a single person or maybe a two a two person crew. But then you have your inverter. The inverter is, is uh, you have DC inputs for the battery but it's an it's a battery inverter only. It, it, we've transitioned from a DC couple architecture to an AC couple architecture. You can hook up to two batteries to one inverter. So you can have up to 36 kilowatt hours in one single inverter. And the third element is your smart disconnect switch. This device is like a power hub for the home. So you have your, your battery, you can have up to two inverters, landing on SDS, so that makes up to 72 kilowatt hours of energy capacity and 23 kW of power. You can also land uh, a generator in addition to the two to the two inverters, and you can land uh, up to 19 kW of PV. So all of, all of a sudden you have a lot of power connected to this SDS. To the SDS as well, you can connect um, a backup load panels and a non-backup load panels. It's, a, it's all the switching, all the monitoring, all of this is happening in SDS and all the controls of the system level are happening in SDS. And then you can you can use it also as a service entrance. So you can connect directly from the meter or you can land it on a on a breaker on the main service panel. We will also have uh, full PCS controls on on that on that device. What's what's cool about that to me is that it is it's a robust component. You're uh, able to connect a lot to it, but it's maybe not packed with too many smart features to kind of like overly uh, complicate things with technology. You know, it just, um, you're able to incorporate a lot, but maybe um, in a simpler way. It is not trying to be a load, uh, a load center, for example. Yeah. Right. We have a product called Power Manager that we're going to integrate with this, with Parcel 2 as well. So you'll have that if you need it. Um, but our view is that the, the ecosystem integration is what is what gives you a lot of that load management. So there's two there's two things that have changed. Number one, we have a more powerful solution. Number two, we also have the ecosystem. What that means is that your 
some of these things that you had to do with load management and you know by adding load managers now are less necessary now maybe all you need is is the ability to shut down the thermostat and that gets you the the power manager power management that that you needed okay so now let's move up to the power cell 2 max can you compare and contrast the base level power cell 2 with the max for me yeah so power cell 2 max introduces a new um, battery module. So Parcel 2 utilizes the existing modules that we had in Parcel 1. Parcel 2 Max introduces a new battery module. Out of that, we get more power um, and we get better performance uh, across the temperature range. So we have a little bit more um, high temp better high temperature and lower temperature performance. And when you say more power, how much more power are we talking about? And what does that allow me to do? So we go from 10 and a half kW on Parcel to 11 and a half kW on Parcel to Max. What we also get is a much higher uh, uh, lock rotor amps load start capacity. In Parcel 2, we get about 150, which is plenty enough to like start almost all five ton air conditioners. But with, with Max, we get um, close to like over 200. So that will get us, you know, you can start almost anything at that point. Okay, so then I guess taken together the PowerCell 2 series, how does the PowerCell 2 series compare to competitive systems? We stand apart in a, in a couple of different ways. The energy capacity in a single cabinet is, uh, is very large in our case. So, you know, we're 30% above uh, the leading uh, competitor. We also have the ecosystem integrations are very differentiated, in, in my opinion. Like this, this Ecobi integration is something that no other competitor really has. There's no other competitor with a, essentially a built-in user interface that you can uh, put in the house. And PowerCell 2 Max in particular um, will be the most powerful battery in the market um, will be basically be able to start any load and it'll be also head on shoulders over the competition in in those metrics as well. Yeah, you, you've you mentioned it a couple times and it was definitely something that stood out to me and let's get into it now, the, the Ecobee thermostat integration. For those who don't know, Ecobee is a smart thermostat company uh, owned by Generac. And as you mentioned, it, the, the Ecobee is working in tandem with the PowerCell too. And I just want to understand a little bit more about how that works, how the two are connected and what why that matters. Ecobee and uh, and Parcel um, basically work in tandem. What that means is that they communicate over a local connection. They don't require the internet to, to work together, which is really important during an outage. The, we think of the Ecobee as essentially the, the user interface of our battery. And it, it's a much more accessible user, as a user interface is a much more accessible user interface than all of our competitors essentially, because everybody in the home gets to see if there's an outage, for example, and how much energy there's left in the battery, how many hours of backup they have left. The other key aspect is the fact that Ecobee resets the thermostat set point when, during an outage. And by doing so, that extends the the duration of the battery because the, the, the energy consumption of the of the whole home goes down as a result. This could be as, as much as 50% of the of the backup duration could be extended. Yeah, I really do like the idea of connecting the battery like that in a smart way, you know, to that smart thermostat and just making it simple as, you know, seeing what the temperature is, seeing like, ah, let me see what the battery stance is, like instead of trying to find, you know, go to the system itself or you know, fumble around with an app. I don't know, it's just like a nice tie-in to, to the home itself. Uh, which then makes me wonder, you know, are you are there other smart home integrations uh, that Generac is thinking about? Because I know you're really thinking about the home energy ecosystem overall. Uh, is there anything else to for us to be looking out for? Generac has a either in house or through very deep strategic partnerships devices that lend themselves really easily to this kind of integration. So we our ecosystem is going to be increasing in depth and breadth. Uh, significantly over the next uh, months and years. And last but not least, of course, the PowerCell 2 incorporates standby generator integration, which isn't necessarily unique in the market anymore with these systems, uh, with so many energy management options emerging out there. 
but of course you are generic. So is there anything special about how the PowerShell 2 integrates and uses a standby generator? Yeah, it's a very well tested and, and thought through integration. It's it's very kind of deeply qualified and it's also very well integrated within our SDS uh, smart disconnect switch. Uh, so it makes it for a very easy install. Also, there's kind of scheduling functions that we're planning to roll out um, that are going to be, we think, better than our competition for sure. There, there is a, a very high degree of automation of like, you know, the generator turning on when, you know, when SOC is low, but there's also a high degree of customization. The generator is a fairly noisy device. And so you want to have, you want to let the user make some decisions about when they want to be using the generator. And the idea here is to, ch you charge your battery with the generator. So you'd run the generator for as little as possible at, at, at maximum power. So you get charge the battery um, and then power the home with the battery. Yeah, so we've touched on home energy storage, smart thermostats, standby generators, and Generac's kind of providing all of this uh, in this ecosystem that we keep coming back to. and. I guess I wanted to end on why this matters, why Generac is pursuing this menu of items to to provide customers. You know, uh, is this something you're seeing the demand for? It just delivers better experiences. The ecosystem enables experiences that otherwise would be very hard to get and, and very hard to get right as well. The UI, the we call it this bottomless battery concept with a generator integration to the installer it's it's more of a one-stop shop if you choose to you can basically have all your needs met with with generac i think those are actually really imp important um, benefits it, it's all about better experiences for the customer and a more profitable business for the installers yeah absolutely you know, when residential solar on the solar coaster starts to go down a little bit, maybe battery attachments go up. Um, their solar installers just overall benefit from having kind of a menu of items to meet where customer demand is, right? You know, so not putting all your eggs in one basket, just having options. And then maybe you're also just in that customer's life for a longer period of time as their kind of needs grow in whatever direction that may be, you know, you're there with a, a solution. Well, Beto, I think that's a pretty good note to end on. So I want to thank you for stopping by to chat about the PowerCell 2, explain its nuances, and just in general, make the pitch for Generac's uh, emerging energy ecosystem. No problem. It was my pleasure.